Hey guys, so I know that's a short form lick right there, but what's more important is the kind of weird picking pattern I do in certain spots there that kind of gives me a dynamic edge and keeps my hand calmer than it normally would be. So we're going to be in the key of A minor here, and we're going to be starting on the 10th fret on the G. So down stroke under there, up stroke under the 9th, down stroke under the 7th, down to the D will be an up stroke on the 8th, down stroke on the 7th, and as opposed to me, when I skip strings here doing an upstroke, I'm actually going to do another downstroke. And the reason I do that is you'll see when I go down, up, down, up, down, my picking hand is already kind of angling itself towards doing another downstroke. And if I had to do an upstroke there, I don't like having to kind of scoop and just kind of dig my hand under like that, as opposed to just being able to go... And again, for me, that just works. If it doesn't work for you, no big deal. But anyway, so moving on, we have... So up to the B, after the 11th fret there, it'll be up stroke onto the 10th, down stroke onto the 8th, up stroke onto the 9th. And when we skip strings here, we are going to do it in a standard alternating fashion because we're only playing this E note on the G here. We're going to skip up an octave to the high E, 12th fret, so then that'll be down, up, down, and then we'll take kind of a two note per string harmonic minor passage. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And that's the end of measure one. After that, we're gonna skip up to the 17th fret on the high E, and it's really important that you start with a down stroke here because you can go. Because see, when I end on the 12th fret there, I'm going to be moving into a sweep, so it's really imperative that you end that with an upstroke so that you can just keep that arpeggio going. So it'll be 17, 15, 13, 12, into the third inversion, 13, 14, 14, 15. And then we're going to move into triplets and go... And the reason I do that there is just because I, it was just a little boring, just gonna go. That just seemed like it would be too corny. So when I move into triplets there, I'm actually gonna be going similar to the regular third inversion ascending part. But as opposed to playing a 13th fret on the B, I'm gonna drop that down to the 12th. And you'll notice when your hands go up, 12, 15, 14, 13, 12, they're just gonna be doing one of these kind of an ugly sounding chord, but it's sort of cool in my opinion. So again, going up in triplets there. So, may dilly, me dilly, me. So this is what we've got in total here. And that is a real pain to do. So start out super slow. I'm talking like 60, 70 BPM as opposed to the full 140 here because this is all about getting that sync down with your right hand because there's a lot going on here in a short period of time and your brain is a lot to process. I would really focus on the left hand first, making sure that's clean, and then you can focus on what you would rather do. My weird little picking strategy or your own standard stuff with this second lick here. All right, guys, enjoy. It's a toughie. Have a good one.